All right, hey guys, welcome to another video with me um, on our plans. And so I'm going to, for this video, be working on another project. This is going to be my third project. Um, by the time this video is out though, you will have seen um, the first project, my DIY crate shelving over the bed, but you won't have seen the second one, so I'm not just going to mention that just yet. Um, so yeah, I'm in the car now. I'm on my way to Ikea to buy things for the third project and then yeah, but I should have everything like built and done and yeah, it should be complete by the end of this video, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm filming right now. But um, I lowered the back seats already before I get there because um, I have like everything measured and planned already. So yeah, I'm super excited for you guys to, uh, yeah, like to do this project with you guys. See you guys at Ikea next, yeah. Ooh, it is so bright and sunny, but I just got here to Ikea. Excuse the crying kid in the background. My favorite place ever. He's crying so loud, I feel so bad for him. So first thing first, I had to freaking pee because that was a long ass drive. Freaking traffic in Texas is getting worse and worse. Um, 45 minute drive for a, what, 25 minute drive? But anyway, I'm here in the Grand Prairie Ikea location. I think this location is better than the um, than the Frisco location, although the Frisco location is better, just for those of y'all that live in Texas, IMO. Um, but yeah, as you can see, just like last time, I'm entering towards the exit. Like, I'm gonna do this reverse. And yeah, um, oh my god, I can't wait to show you guys. I mean, it's not like that big of a deal, but I'm excited for this project. I am so freaking happy that IKEA is sort of empty today. But yeah, first thing first, in the freaking plant check, uh, plant touch section. So I want to just check out what plants they have here. Um, basically, um, a lot of the same plants as the other IKEA, but I'm looking for the rubber tree because online I did see that they may have the rubber tree here too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some searching. A bunch of palms here too. Oh my god, I really want another palm. They're so freaking pretty. And then look at all these tall dracenas. I saw a Ficus Benjamina online, but I don't see that in the store. Yucas, I do want a yucca, I don't have one of these. They look so good. Only 25 bucks too, and they're so tall. But yeah, there are no rubber trees here. Damn it. It was just so awkward just now. There was this guy that was just staring at me for the longest time, and I was just like, um, I'm just vlogging, <laughs> no one famous. And he was like, yeah, I know. And I'm like, okay, then why are you staring at me like that? He was staring at me so freaking hard, I felt so awkward. Um, but yeah, I'm looking through all these little plants too, and there's nothing special here in particular today. I have like, I have pothos, I have ZZ plant. I, basically everything the same as the other IKEA. I was really hoping for a rubber plant, but they don't, they just don't. So yeah, I really like this peperomia they have here. It's not, it's not like the other Peperomia I got, it's like a darker variety, I guess this is the regular Peperomia than the Variegata one, but I don't know, I don't like how it's like so dangly and I don't know. So yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna get anything, any plants, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue and get the things for my project. I do like a bunch of the planters here, maybe I'll get a couple planters, I don't know yet. They have all these cute glass containers that would be like great for propagation. I haven't started propagation yet, but that is something I am into in the future, per perhaps. Love these freaking... Bamboo is apparently also Dracaena. I didn't freaking know that, but I googled it and it is, and Ikea says so too. Dracaena. And it's like $2 for one of these stocks too. So I am also looking at sofas real quick, because I need to buy a sofa from my apartment. And I really like this one. It's only... 429 which is a really good price and it like becomes into a queen size mattress so if I have like my friends or, or family over like they could like sleep on this so I'm really digging this. I also just found the nicest chair for only 79 bucks. Oh my god. Y'all need to so like I'd have my sleeper sectional and then like the sofa and then the chair on the other side. You know like how people make that L shape in their living room? And I really like it and it's cheap and it's so comfortable and it's like a rocking chair a little bit. Look at also just what I found. This is, I've been wanting one of these forever. It's like a net thingy, like, oh my god, that's so pretty. Ugh. 
and I like I would have it over my bed and like I sleep like a freaking princess or whatever. Oh my god. It's like a sheer white net curtain. I love this. So um, there's this plant stand, this fart fit bar. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, for five bucks. And I don't see any and I asked the girl like uh hello. And she says they are, there are currently 37 in stock, but there's just none there, so we're confused. And so she's like, don't worry, I'll get down to the bottom of this. <sighs> she's gonna come back. She went to the warehouse. She's gonna come back with nothing, just like the damn the rubber tree. So she did end up finding the plant stand. It's this $5 little black wire metal plant stand. Oh my god, my, I'm sitting so weird. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying it out with the different vases, uh, pots, planters. And yeah, I think I'm gonna get it. It's only five bucks, so it's pretty good. Okay, I'm tired. All right, y'all. I am on my way out of here. I got my two big, super long, huge packages. Oh, I also picked up a picture frame. I'm gonna, for this picture I have, um, yeah, uh, I'll show you guys that later. I'm just out of breath because I was so heavy to put onto the cart. And I will just talk to you guys uh, once I get home because then I have to put this on the cart. I have to pay for this right now. This is a lot of work. So I just got home and oh my god, I'm exhausted. I put the box against the wall, bringing them in, they were so heavy, like, oh my god, I, I, yeah, I definitely cannot continue this tonight, I'm exhausted, I just want to get into bed, um, so yeah, I'm going to continue this tomorrow after work, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just see you guys tomorrow, I mean, this is just going to go on to the next scene, aka tomorrow, but, yeah, I'll, I'm tired, bye. Okay guys, I'm finally home from work. It's what time? 5.30 p.m. almost. And yeah, I'm tired, but I'm also super excited to just get started working on this project, open the boxes, and have you guys like, and you know, just get started on this. And then, oh my god, I can't wait for you guys to see what I have planned for my room. Okay, finally. Can you guys see it? Well, you can't tell it's a basic board, but look at the picture. That's right. Can you tell from the picture? Well, it's a bookcase. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this bookcase now. And this is just more storage for my plants. And I'm super excited. It's going to look really nice. It's my look. Uh, this is Hemnes. It's just solid pine wood. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to put this together and then, oh my god, I'm gonna decorate it with so many plants. But y'all are now with me to watch me build this thing. Okay, so I just finished putting in, uh, finished putting together the bulk of the the bookcase. Now I just have to put in the back and the shelves, and I'm done. I'm done putting the back of the bookcase um so as you guys already know i don't like fake wood aka plywood compressed wood veneer whatever and this is some sort of fake looking wood but i i don't know what it is exactly but that being said i did buy i mean although i hate it i did buy a and that's extra you guys didn't see that when i was in ikea i picked that up later like after i finished recording because i totally forgot about it but yeah, it is a birch veneer table that's just painted white and it was cheap and I needed it for my fiddly fig as a stand because that's like 16 inches like the pot and I haven't been finding 16 inch stands or like if I do they're super expensive so it's just much cheaper to get a $9 table as opposed to like a $30 stand or whatever so yeah, I just decided to go with that um, but yeah, for the most part still in general like I don't like using fake wood but yeah I'm almost done with this and now I just gotta put in the shelving and I can't wait to show you guys oh my god when it's up and against the wall
And just like that, I am done with my rigging bookcase that I am in love with. Oh my god, look at how beautiful this thing is. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna look so good with plants in it. Um, look at how beautiful my philodendron hope salem is looking. Like, oh my god. Accenting or whatever, like in front of the bookcase, so beautifully just, you know, hanging over. Um, I also put this guy, a little video with this guy today on Instagram. So go to Instagram at our plans underscore hc and check that out um, but oh my god i am in love with my bookcase oh my god actually i have a i have one plan for it actually oh my god let me get it i bought this guy from walmart the other day i just was at walmart to check out. i actually went to walmart to buy this cactus i saw and then i ended up not getting the cactus and then i saw this and it's so beautiful it is a hoya carnosa tricolor all the walmart's little sticker paper thingy said Hoya Carnoso Compacta but I think that's the scientific name for Hoya Hindu Rope but yeah and this is the tricolor I love the pink on it I've been obsessed with Hoyas I've been watching them obsessively on YouTube and on Instagram I really want the Hoya Abavada and the Hoya Carry but no luck with those just yet but yeah I fell in love with this Hoya when I saw it in Walmart only 15 bucks for this big ass plant Oh my god, look at how pretty this is. So this is going to be a perfect, a perfect fit. Let me, let me hold it properly. On, to go on top of my bookcase. Oh my god, on top of my bookcase. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my god, I'm freaking living. And then like, the wood, the white, the green, the plants. Everything is just like, all these natural textures. The metal, the rope the rattan whatever it's called the weaving every oh my god this is just like the things i love for also these wood roses are fake but they're not i got them from san antonio this is a mexican actually like um like you put water in it um like they drink water out of it a, gla a little cup came with it also with the same print but yeah, this is made out of ceramic and these roses are not plastic they're wooden roses it's so pretty they had a smell to them initially they smelled of like fresh shaved wood but it's so pretty and they were so cheap they were a dozen for nine dollars and so i just had to buy it again not a fan of plastic and plywood and all those fake things but a yeah, handmade super gorgeous anyway okay got distracted but oh my i'm absolutely in love in love okay yeah i need to take off the hanger okay also before i start working on that table i forgot to uh so you guys also saw this frame that i bought yesterday at ikea too um, so in this frame, I got this print from, um, I'm gonna include the Instagram handle in the, his Instagram handle in the description from Bob Odd, from Ethan Hethcote, B-O-P-P-O-D, and it's this print, I really like this print, and so he, he like draws these kinds of things, and so I got this print, and I'm going to put it in this frame, 8x10, in a 12x16 frame, and it's gonna look nice. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'll show you guys once, I'm, once it's in there. All right guys, well, here it is. What do you guys think of this print and this frame? So yeah, if you like this print, um, well, I got the frame from Ikea and if you like this print, uh, you can um, go to, you'll find his uh, Insta in the description below in the bio. But yeah, I really, I really like this. Um, he has another one similar to this. I may purchase that one, I'm not sure, but yeah, I really, really like this one so I'm literally like done with this so quickly the three of the legs are in it's just literally four of these screws four of those legs and then the top and like look at how cheaply it's made you can like see the wood it's not focusing the camera but whatever it's just cheaply made but whatever it's cheap only nine bucks and it can support up to 55 pounds and my tree weighs less than 55 pounds so whatever I just need to tag this a plant stand and that's that's yeah I mean looks decent from the outside just plain white right so as long as it gets the job done. I definitely do like how the tree looks so much more raised. Oh my god, that was heavy. Crap. 
Oh, but I really like it. Like, I love how... I love it. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, let me put the Schifflera, Schifflera back one second. So I put my Schifflera there to cover, you know, sort of that part of the table. And yeah, oh my god. Okay, I'm exhausted. A lot of work put in today. Now I have a huge mess to clean. I love that my fiddle leaf fig tree is always in my background too. But okay, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, like, I I can't wait to like fill that with plants and then show you guys. Maybe I'll do a video on that. I probably will do a video on that. But yeah, that being said, I'm super exhausted. I'm ready to peace out. And I will see you guys next, whenever I upload the next video. I need to work. Oh, by the way, I need I do need to work on a timing. I think right now I'm planning to do videos every Mondays. Just one time, one day a week right now because I do have work and like a lot of other stuff planned and I also... Yeah, I'm just tired and I have a lot of things to do. So yeah, okay. Um, oh my god, my fiddly fig looks so beautiful as my backdrop. I cannot get over this. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next Monday.